Howdy! Welcome back. It's Big Anklevich here again, podcaster, author, and carnivore. And it is Monday, April 8th, 2024. And this is my report for week 45 of my journey to Wonderland using beef, butter, bacon, and eggs carnivore and alternate day fasting. So let's go ahead and jump into the daily videos and see how the week is going here on Big Anklevich on health. It is Monday and it was not a good day, I have to say. Um, I got up and I needed some stuff. So I went to the store, I was gonna grab some uh, some ground beef probably that I could eat and I got some, I thought, ground pork to go with it. I cooked those all up together, I started eating it and I went, wait a minute, this is not ground pork. No, it was sausage, it was pork sausage. I didn't realize it, so I just ate a whole bunch of sausage and I still have more to go. And to tell you the truth, I didn't like it very much. It was too much. The seasoning in it was just over the top and I wonder if that's just a artifact of being a carnivore for a while. You just don't like over seasoned stuff. You want to taste the real taste. Eventually maybe I'll be one of those people that I see on YouTube or talking about how they never use salt anymore. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah. Um, and worse yet, because I'd already eaten sausage, I was just like, screw it. And I ate some ham and I ate some bacon. Uh, I ate the bacon cold out of the fridge. Um, I don't know. I don't know how badly that's gonna affect me. I still have to finish the sausage too before I move on. So hopefully the rest of the week will be better. Okay, it is Tuesday and uh, this morning I got up and I had some more of that ground beef that's mixed with sausage that I got yesterday. I still haven't finished it all. There's more. It's hard to eat. I don't want to throw it away because I feel bad wasting food like that and I feel like I should eat it all but the flavor of the sausage is just kind of intense. I, I guess it's got to be because I don't eat that kind of stuff anymore and so I don't I don't need that kind of intense flavor um, but I don't know it's it's just a lot and I ate uh, as much of it as I could and then I also ate some roast. I cooked some roast up too, and I'll, I'll probably keep working that in to my meals for the rest of the week. Uh, we'll see if I can get through all of that. And uh, that's it. That's all I'm going to eat today, and that should be a, a good day, I guess. Hopefully, uh, hopefully things are going in the right direction. It's hard to say. If I'm eating sausage, they probably aren't. It is Wednesday, and usually I eat my meals like in a really close time frame, I keep them really close together. Uh, I eat all my stuff pretty fast. But today I had it just all spread out. I got up this morning and my wife had gotten a flat tire last night. She needed her tire changed real quick in the morning. So uh, right away I jumped out and uh, hit the road to go somewhere to get her tire fixed. It went pretty well, but uh, I was away from the house for a little bit. So before I left out the door, I warmed up what was left of that sausage and ground beef. And I ate that on my way to the tire place and a little bit while I was at the tire place, but hardly any of it was left by the time I got there. And then when I finished and I came home, I had some of the roast that I cooked up yesterday and I ate that. Then just before I left for work, I cooked up my fat trimmings made myself some fat fries and I ate those on my drive. And I was thinking, okay, that's it. I'm gonna start my fast for the day. And then when I got here at work, uh, I was working for a minute and then I came out and there was all this uh, food that they'd laid out. Normally I just ignore that stuff because there's never anything for me. But this time around they had like stuff for fajitas, I think. And they just had this big container of steak strips and I looked at it and I thought, nah, and then I, oh, well, I'll try a piece. And I tried a piece and I was like, this is pretty good. So I decided to have a plate of it. So I filled up a plate with some steak strips 
and I ate all of those. And then I restarted my fast an hour later. So I'm fasting now. I'm pretty stuffed, so I'll probably last just fine. But uh, we'll see what comes of that. Um, is that meat that I got made by someone else okay? Or is it just going to crush me? Was it cooked in smothered in uh, vegetable oil and garbage like that. I definitely had more spices than I would ever put on something. I'll pretty much just use salt. So it's got more than that. Uh, another thing I've been doing recently, I got myself some electrolyte powders, not like actual LMNT stuff, but I just got the raw ingredients for it. So I got some uh, potassium chloride, some magnesium bitrate, I think it is. And of course I've got salt already. And I've been mixing that up into my drink each morning to see how that works. I've, I've been doing all this walking, uh, you know, every half hour I go out and I walk around the parking lot for just a minute. And every morning, like right at about the time it's time to wake up, my feet and chins and calves will cramp up on me and hurts like crazy and the only way to get it to stop hurting is to get up and walk on it start using that muscle and then the muscle will be like oh oh uh, i got something to do i can't just sit here and cramp and so it'll stop but of course that wakes me up and then i can't get back to sleep and so i'm not getting good sleep and i'm hoping that these electrolytes will help that cramping because that's what i've heard is the deal potassium and maybe magnesium so I'm trying to get more of it. Uh, I did it yesterday, still cramped this morning, so it wasn't enough. So I put a little bit more in today, and we're going to see what happens tomorrow. Uh, I'll try and remember to report on that tomorrow, and we'll see you then. Okay, it is Thursday, and uh, fasting today, so not much to report as far as what I'm eating today. Um, it's been a weird day. I don't know why, but I'm not feeling great. I think probably... Uh, most of it has to do with the fact that I just did not get enough sleep last night. I stayed up late podcasting, like quite late, to like 2 a.m. podcasting with my friend, and I am tired. And uh, because of that, I don't feel like doing anything. Um, I wonder if being, uh, if fasting only exacerbates that or not, but I'm tired. I don't even want to do my daily writing goal or, or anything. I just I'm, I just want to sit here and whine. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, uh, at least I've been able to stick with my fast, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'll keep going tomorrow. I'll be back to report on on uh, how the fast turned out. Okay, it is Friday and I finished up my fast this morning at about 40 hours, I think it was. And then uh, I had myself uh, what was left of the roast that I cooked up the day before. And what else did I have? Fat trimmings. I had the last of my pork fat in fat trimmings. I fried those up, made some deep fat fries. And... Then after that, I had a London broil that my wife had bought for me, and I cooked that thing up, and I managed to eat the whole thing. It was really big, too, but I ate the whole thing, so I was good and full, and I was happy for the whole day, and, and once I finished that, that was it. I'm fasting again, and um, so yeah, I'll be fasting all through tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Okay, it is Saturday, and it's been a tough day. I've been fasting the whole day, but oh man, have I been sorely tempted. And I probably would have given in if it weren't for the fact that I've had a hard couple of weeks where I gained weight two weeks in a row, and I'm trying to lose it back off. And that is what gave me the willpower, I guess, to go on. So I'm, st I'm stuck with it. And uh, I will make it to the end of my fast, and we'll see how that turns out. Okay, it is Sunday. And uh, this morning I got up and I finished my fast up at about 43 hours. 
and then I had some eggs and some pork belly. And then uh, we got all packed up and we got in the car and I don't know if you can tell, but I am in a tent because we came up and we're camping. Uh, we drove up uh, a couple hours, like four hours uh, from our house in Houston because up here we are in the path of totality for the solar eclipse. So we're camping out. We're going to be here tomorrow to watch the eclipse. Um, and on our way here, we stopped at Bucky's, of course, because you got to stop at Bucky's on any road trip in Texas. And I had myself a pound of brisket. Oh, and I also had myself some, I usually don't do this, but I had myself some beef jerky as well. Uh, we'll see what that does to me. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, before we went to bed, we had leftover some leftover meat from... Uh, some fajitas that my wife made for the food. I wasn't going to eat anything this late, but she's like, ah, there's going to be leftover. You want to eat it? I'll throw it away otherwise. And I hate to see it thrown away. So I went ahead and ate it. And there you go. That's it for this week. I guess I'll tell you what the eclipse was like next week when we get to that video. Okay, so that was the week. It was a pretty darn good week, I'll have to say. I stuck with my plan. I ate what I was supposed to eat, fasted when I was supposed to fast, and I think that I did pretty well. Uh, there was a little bit of that hiccup there at the very end on the last day when we drove out of town. Road trips are hard, and I love Bucky's. I love brisket. <laughs> I didn't need to eat that brisket, and I definitely didn't need to eat the uh, beef jerky because, uh, you know, that stuff... Yeah, that, talk about processed meat, that's processed. I shouldn't have had it. But uh, hopefully it won't be too bad. Hopefully it won't get me too hard. Uh, but that'll be for next week. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. This week, we're okay. What happened this week? How did it go? Well, let's see. Last week, my average weight was 210.5. That's where I was at the end of the week. And I'd come halfway down from where I'd gone up uh, over the last two weeks before that. Now, this week, my average is 208.2. So that means that I'm back down. I lost 2.3 pounds this week. And overall, I am now down 81.6 pounds. So yeah, I'm back over 80, which is exciting. I'm glad to have that. I keep wobbling back under to 79 again and that sucks um but yeah i'm back to where i was before i gained weight for two weeks in a row and i'm uh resuming my search my journey to wonderland and i'm excited about that i want to get there i'm running out of time to tell you the truth i want to get there before i make it a whole year doing carnivore uh religiously like this i've been doing carnivore for a long time but poorly uh, on and off allowing myself to give in to my cravings um, but those days are over and I'm almost a year in I've almost made it to Wonderland I'm so close I'm 8.2 pounds away from Wonderland and I just got to keep going just got to stick to that plan I don't think that I need to do my ketones and my blood sugar like I used to do. Uh, it's not necessary to motivate me. Uh, that really helped me get motivated in the early days, but I don't think I need that anymore. I'm plenty motivated and I'm just in, an, in the habit of sticking with it. Um, however, I, I also don't need it to uh, get myself on track. I kind of know just what it is that I need to do. I need to stick with, you know, un unprocessed fresh meat, uh, eat that as much as possible, fast when I'm supposed to fast. And if I do, I get down. Uh, one of the days this week, I weighed 204. So that's really close. We'll see if I can get that to happen on a consistent basis so that I can average under 200 and make it to Wonderland. That would be so great. And I'm going to get there soon. Uh, we shall see how this next week goes. I will be back again 
to report on it then. Thanks for watching this week. This is Big Anklevich on Health.